I have the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra right here. And today I want to show you how to lock the bootloader or relock the bootloader, depending on how you want to word it. So some people may have unlocked their bootloader just to test out Majisk, to test out maybe a custom kernel or a custom ROM, and then maybe they're done with it and they want to go back to complete 100% stock. I've recently shown you how to return to the stock firmware. And if you have ever modified your device in the past and you wish to lock the bootloader again, I highly recommend that you make sure that you flash the 100% original firmware using Odin. Because if you lock the bootloader while having modified files on your device, it could result in a boot loop or a bricked device. Certainly not recommended to lock the bootloader when you have unofficial signed software on your device. Now one thing in the comments that I'm seeing is some people are mistaking this OEM unlocking toggle for the bootloader lock and unlock status. I notice some people think that if this toggle is switched to the right, that means the bootloader is unlocked. And if it's switched to the left, that means the bootloader is locked. That's actually not the case. This is more of just a security measure that Google has put into Android to make sure whoever locks or unlocks the bootloader can actually log in to the software, can actually log in to the operating system. So I just wanted to point out that even if you go into developer options menu and see that this toggle is grayed out with the let the text saying the bootloader is already unlocked, that doesn't mean you can't relock the bootloader. It's just that we need to lock the bootloader first before we disable this toggle and prevent it from being locked in the future. Now in order to do that, we need to boot the device into download mode. And we can do that by powering off the device. So we're going to boot this device into download mode. If you're unfamiliar with how to do this, be sure to check the video description as I'll be including a link that shows you how to press the volume up and down buttons while you insert that USB cable. Now once you have booted the Galaxy S21 into this splash screen for download mode, we're actually going to switch over into the unlock mode in order to relock the bootloader. And we do that by doing a long press gesture on the volume up button. And when you do that, even though it says we're switching into unlock mode, the phone is going to check to find out if your bootloader is locked or if it is unlocked. If it is unlocked already, you're gonna see that it instantly switch you into the lock bootloader mode. However, if it is currently locked, then it'll go to unlock, just like we sh I showed you in the how to unlock the Galaxy S21 bootloader tutorial. And this is just a confirmation screen. We can back out now by pressing the volume down button, or we can continue and confirm that we want to lock the bootloader. And no, locking the bootloader is going to do a factory data reset on our phone. So we confirm that we want to lock the bootloader by pressing the volume up button. After you do that, you're gonna see that delay for a couple of seconds before the screen turns off and the Galaxy S21 actually reboots. 
And just as that confirmation screen warned you, it did do a factory data reset. We saw the erasing splash screen pop up. So if you plan on relocking the bootloader of the Galaxy S21 Plus, then definitely back up any of your important data ahead of time. And this first boot back into Android is going to take a little bit longer than normal, naturally, because we just did that factory data reset. So just be patient. And we're going to see this boot over into the Android activation screen in a second. And there we have it. Once we have booted back into Android, we can go into the settings application, dive into the about phone section, and then the software information so that we can enable developer mode again. Remember, this is needed because we need to go back into the developer options menu. I should say we don't need to as of right now, the bootloader is currently locked, and that means your firmware is secure. When you first dive back into the developer options menu, it's possible that you are not going to see the OEM unlocking toggle like we saw before. Just make sure that you are connected to the internet, either through mobile data or through Wi-Fi, and register the device by checking for an over-the-air update. And once you've done that, I would just say give it some time, possibly even do a reboot. I just rebooted the Galaxy S21 Ultra right here. And when it booted back up, we can now go into the settings application, make sure the hidden developer options menu is there. If it's not, enable developer mode. And if you're not familiar, familiar with how to do that, I'll be including a link in the video description that shows you how to do that. And then when we go back in, we can see the OEM unlocking toggle is back. Now remember, even though the toggle is to the right, that does not mean the bootloader is unlocked. Just as the text says, having that toggle on is just allowing the bootloader to be unlocked. Meaning if we booted into download mode and went through the unlock process again, we would be able to unlock the bootloader. But if you're done with unlocking the bootloader and you want it, relocked and stayed relocked we can simply toggle this feature off 
And then we, just as instructed, we need to restart the phone to use the device protection features. So again, we just restart. And now we have booted back into Android. The bootloader is currently locked. And if you want, we can go back in here and check on that toggle to make sure that it is stayed disabled.